Okay, welcome back to the final part. We're just going to run you through how to interpret and read the adulteration test strips on here. Uh, with the cuts you've been uh, supplied with, you'll get one of these evaluation colour chart cards. Now, they have different readings for different parameters on here. You've got SG, which is specific gravity, CRE, which is creatinine, pH, showing here, and on the reverse, you've got nitrite, uh, glutaraldehyde, alcohol, which isn't on all the tests, and in the urine tests, you haven't got an alcohol test built into these. So that is where these are used in a saliva test. So they're not all apparent or won't all be present on some of the test cups that these are provided with. You may have three of the seven, or you may have six of the seven, and the other one is uh, oxidants here. So we're looking for the comparison level on the pads and coding again. So NIT, you compare against the top thing, which is negative, that's normal. Then you look at the GLU, glutaraldehyde, and again, that's negative. And the bottom one on this test pad is the creatinine. So if you compare that onto the creatinine level, that's normal. And you do the same on the other three pads, making sure that they are all negative or within the normal range. And if they are all negative or normal, that's reassuring that the sample that's been placed into this cup has not been adulterated or diluted and basically meets the parameters for normal strength, healthy human urine. That combined with the temperature test, again, is a good level of checks to make sure that the sample you're screening and interpreting the results on is a French, fresh, sorry, undiluted urine sample from the donor. So it's just reassurance of the validity of the test results for the drug screens that you've run.